It's been fun traveling through the Old Testament with my friend Matt. Do you ever wonder where he goes when he drops out of sight? I think it's because he's always hungry and looking for snacks. In fact, I bet he's looking for snacks right now. Hi, Jen. Were you getting snacks again? Well, yes, but I also got the map. I was looking for where we're going today. Oh, yeah, today we're going to the New Testament. What's the difference between the New Testament and the Old Testament? Well, the Old Testament tells of the beginnings of the world and how God cares for his people. The Old Testament looks forward to the Redeemer. The New Testament tells the story of this Redeemer named Jesus. Hey! Oh, okay. Hey, thanks. I get that. And I see here today that we're going to the Good News Gospels. Yep, here we are. Oh, yay! Hi there, I'm Luke. What's your names? I'm Jen. That's short for Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. And I'm Matt, and it's actually short for Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Hey, I didn't know that. Yep, it's true. Well, those are long names. Yep. Well, I was a doctor who uh, learned about Jesus after his life death and resurrection, I became a believer and wanted to research what happened so others could believe too. Cool. I carefully interviewed the eyewitnesses and wrote the books of Luke and Acts. Now I volunteer here to show people around the good news gospels. Jesus is our Redeemer. Whoa. Gospels is another word for good news. Let's walk over here. There are four books in the Gospels, or good news books. Why are there four books? Uh, well, Jesus is most wonderful, amazing, powerful, kind, the most loving person ever in history. He is God come to earth. God chose four different writers to get a clear picture of the life of Jesus. Because it's so important. Matthew wrote to show Jesus is the king. The stories point to his power, strength, authority. He is boss. Mark wrote to show Jesus as servant. He came to seek and save the lost. Luke wrote to show Jesus the perfect man. His miraculous birth and clear teachings always doing what's right. John, well John wrote to emphasize Jesus as son of God, our savior. And if we put our faith in him, we will have eternal life because Jesus is the savior. So believe in Jesus. Together, these four books show that Jesus is our redeemer. Whoa, wow, that's so that's great. So I love cool. it. I do too. Now look at your map and see. There is the announcement that Jesus is born. We celebrate this at Christmas. The angels came to announce to the shepherds that a baby is born in a stable to save the world. God's gift to us all. Next, Jesus standing by the sea and calling his followers to come and be fishers of men. Then there are the three crosses. Jesus died on the middle cross between two thieves, but after Jesus was killed, he came back to life, defeating death. We celebrate this at Easter. The angels are announcing that the grave is empty. Early Christians would say to a friend, he is risen. And the friend would answer, 
He is risen indeed. I want to try that. Jen, he is risen. He is risen indeed. Hey, Luke, he is risen. Well, he is risen indeed. Oh, I like that. Other thing. Why don't you two camp here for the week? You can stay by the Sea of Galilee, reading the words of Jesus and learning about him. I think you will be so happy to know more about the good news found in the Gospels. Well, do they have snacks here? <laughs> well, there are lots of fish in the sea. Oh, I love fish. And fish crackers and Swedish fish. <laughs> Maybe we can find a store. Well, yes, there are certainly stores here, too. Thanks, well, thanks Luke. Luke. Okay, oh, bye. Yeah. He, he is, is risen. risen. He is risen indeed. Totally cool new way to learn the books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy.